rebuilt. Uh, th this is the list of the uh, schools that have been uh, rebuilt by the, by the bond program. We basically tore down the old facility and, and rebuilt a new one. And then ones that are under construction right now are, are before you. Uh, a, lar a long list there, and uh, it seems to get a longer uh, uh, daily. And uh, these are the ones that are waiting to rebuild, and uh, what we're hoping to do with the, uh, the existing bond capacity that we have, as well as if, uh, in the event the major age passes, and we'll be able to continue on with, that, with, with the bond program as authorized. Um, the uh, bond funds now, uh, uh, in Measure E of uh, 2012, contained uh, funding for technology, and we're upgrading that as, as, we, as we go through and replacing our, our old uh, textbooks with uh, tablets in, in, our, in our school district. Upgrading our science labs is a key portion of what we do. This is the old science lab at De Anza, and then here's a picture of the new science lab. And it's, a, it's an incredibly big difference between the, the, those two. Um, so basically, we just don't want our kids to be penalized by where they live, and that uh, we're looking for the community to get out and support uh, Major H. And with that, I finished my portion of the presentation. I'd be happy to answer the questions that I can. Young here. I have a handout. May I distribute that? <clears throat> Maybe it would be more efficient if you could make your comments while I'm handing them out. Yes, please. I'll be back. I want to speak to the uh, tax rate statement for Measure H. The purpose of the tax rate statement is to provide voters an estimate of the cost of a proposed bond issue. It is required under Section 9400 of the California Election Code. Tax rate estimates is the statement that reflects the district's current projection of future assessed valuations and future debt service payments, which are based on the district's reasonable assumptions. The California State Records Request Act was made on April 5th for the assumptions used in computing the district's tax rate statement for Measure H. On April 15th, I received a response to the records request stating, quote, the district does not have under its custody or control any documents any documents responsive to my request in terms of the assumptions used for the tax rate statement that was included in the bond resolution. How can the district prepare a tax rate statement with no written documentation that specifies and justifies the underlying assumptions used to generate the estimated tax rate? 